I didn't let my stepdad walk me down the aisle even though he was there for me after my real dad abandoned me 20 years ago, now he might be the second father to walk out of my life. I, 29F, ruined the memory of the best day of my life because I was too blind to see that what I was doing was hurting one of the most important people in my life. I got married two months ago to the love of my life, and he finally opened my eyes to what I had done. He showed me a perspective I hadn't understood. When I was five, my father left us, just disappeared without a trace. He and my mom were already separated by that point, but he was still living with us. Three years later, my mom started dating Rob, 50M. He was quite a bit younger than she was, I believe she was 34 and he was 26 when they met. Today, he is very wealthy, he wasn't when he met my mom, and he treats my mother like a queen. Whenever she is around him, she looks like the happiest person in the world. My younger sister looks a lot like me and my mom, but her personality is definitely a reflection of her dad's, always telling jokes and being just a nice person all around, while my mom and I are more serious and cold. As I got older, Rob became more present in my life, he got married to my mom, and she got pregnant. But it was still pretty weird seeing him as a father figure, mostly because people would assume he was my brother all the time. When I was in high school, I was dating this boy, and he broke up with me at my friend's house. My mom was on a night shift, and I had to ask Rob to pick me up. When he did, he comforted me, took me to get ice cream, and when we got home, he told me something like this without even knowing what happened, whoever made you sad doesn't understand that you are the best girl in the world, and it's their loss. Don't beat yourself up because other people are too stupid to see it. I just said to him, I wish you were my dad. He smiled and said that he wished that too, and he could be if I wanted him too. We left it at that. I never called him dad, but from that point forward, I saw him as a father, and I think he knows it. I finally reconnected with my biological father about a year ago. It happened because I got engaged. When I came to my mom's house one day, he was there, and I couldn't even recognize him. He was way thinner than he was when I was a kid. He struggled for years with depression and substance abuse. My mom and Rob actually helped him get clean, and they even paid for his stay at a great rehabilitation center. They decided together that it was time for me to finally meet him again. I don't want to explore much on how this was, but all I have to say is that I'm glad to have him back in my life, and I'm glad to be able to help him heal. He suffered a lot, he got lost, but now he is at least trying. Rob and my mother paid for everything at my wedding, and everything was amazing. The church was beautiful, my husband looked amazing. The one mistake I made, I chose my biological father over Rob. I chose the man who abandoned me for over 20 years over the one who took me as his own and gave me everything he could when he didn't have to. I chose the man who broke my mother's heart over the one who saved her. I don't know why I did what I did. Looking back on it, I feel so stupid. My dad didn't deserve to walk me down the aisle. My dad didn't deserve to be in all the pictures with my mom and my husband's parents. It should have been Rob. I don't know, I think I was compensating for the lost time with my dad. Everything was still so fresh with him. I was helping him out, he talked to me every day, and I felt like he deserved to be back in my life. When we were deciding who would give speeches, we had to cut some because it was just too many, and my husband and I didn't really like the idea of hearing speeches for an hour and a half, so we decided on five people each. When I gave the list to my husband, he even asked, no Rob. And I said, yeah, my mom is already doing one. The others I chose were two of my bridesmaids, my mom, my sister, as she really pushed for it, and again, my dad. My husband said I should reconsider. He even thought of giving up one of his to put Rob in. I said it was fine, he didn't need to do that. My whole thinking when doing this was that Rob has my sister, he will have his moment, and this was the only chance my dad had. But I went too far. I completely cut him out of the party, basically. If you look at the photos, it doesn't even look like he was there. My mom looks like she is faking a smile in half the pictures. I don't have a single picture with him, and he only appears in group pictures and some with my husband. I only realized all of this when I texted Rob two days ago, asking him about a gift I'm giving my husband for his birthday, and he answered. Then I asked about my car that is with a mechanic friend of his, and he answered. Then I asked him something about my insurance, and he did not answer. A little over an hour later, my mom called me. She just said, do you have no shame? Do you not understand what you did? I just listened and she told me not to talk to Rob for now. I was just so confused. I got home and told my husband, and he just said that he knows what she is referencing but he will talk to her first. Later, he showed me the wedding photos. He went step by step on everything I have listed here. He talked calmly and broke it down for me, and by the end, I was crying so much that I had a headache. What an inconsiderate idiot I am. He told me that he and my mom didn't tell me anything before the party because Rob asked them not to. He understood that it was important for me for my father to be a big part of this day, and when they protested, he said that they should not make me worry about these small things. I don't know what changed from before the party to now. 
My mom only tells me that he needs a bit of time and that he will talk to me soon. My husband keeps telling me that I made a mistake, but Rob will be understanding and will forgive me. And I know that he will. He has already forgiven me 100%. He probably felt something when I was texting him that day that broke him down. I don't know what I said to trigger him at that moment, but also it doesn't really matter. I did the real damage at the party, probably, since he appeared to be fine with everything else before it, not that it was not fine by any means. I have to make it up to him. I don't know how, but I just do. I guess I'm just writing this here because I'm a little lost. I'm too ashamed to talk about it with anyone else I know apart from my mom and husband. She doesn't tell me anything, and my husband keeps insisting that everything will be fine and for me not to worry too much about it. And he is probably right, but I feel like not worrying about this is just being inconsiderate to Rob again. I have to worry. I just don't know what to do. Update 1. First, I want to address some things before posting. No, I am not Linda, and my biological father isn't in the hospital. My sister is mostly just sad, not really mad at me. She said she understood my situation, but it still hurt to see her father taken for granted and sad. My mother is the person most upset with me at the moment. She is the only one who still does not talk to me. I mean, she does, but not really. For the people saying my husband and mother were idiots for not talking to me before, they agree and have told me this, my husband, especially. I'm not trying to shift blame here, just saying this for the people who talked about it. I was not going to post anything else on here, as I'm not a fan of being called names and people saying that Rob should leave our family. Although I'm well aware that I deserve most of everything that was said about me. The comments saying the apple doesn't fall far from the tree in regards to me and my biological father were the ones that hurt the most, as it is a fear of mine and the reason I don't drink much and don't use any substances or anything that could be addictive. But seeing how there are other things that could make us more similar than I realized is really frightening. The day I posted here, my mom told me Rob wanted to speak to me and to go to their home after work. I went and waited for Rob to arrive. When he did, my mom left us alone, and he started off by saying that he was hurt by what I did at the wedding, that he knows he is not my father and that he would never try to force that on me, but he at least thought he had some sort of importance in my life, and seeing me just not give him any importance apart from talking to him when I need help with something made him realize that I do not view him the way he thought I did. At this point, I was already crying so much that I couldn't even talk. I waited for him to finish, and when he did, I just told him basically what you all saw in the post. That I messed up bad, that I was inconsiderate, that he is one of the most important people in my life, and that what I did was unforgivable. The only reason I am posting it here is because of something during the conversation. He said something about my time at college, and I went, but that was because of dot dot dot, and stopped. He asked me, what, because of what? I just said, nothing, you are right, that was my fault, and I should have done better. He was pretty angry at that point, and he started to smile, and we talked about me taking responsibility for my actions. It's something I am terrible at, it was an issue at my old job, and since then, I have been trying to be better at it but not very successfully. He asked what changed, and I told him about the post. Multiple people in the comments said that I don't take responsibility, and yes, they read right through me. I showed it to him, and reading the post calmed him down. And no, he did not read the comments, just the ones I showed to him, I would not let him see what some of you were saying about my mom. So yes, he told me if I was going to say something else to thank you people for calling me out for not taking responsibility. We talked about a lot of other things not related to the wedding. At the end, I just told him that there were two things I wanted to say for him to take away from this conversation, I really did mean it when I was in high school and said that I wished he was my dad. Even now, with my biological dad in my life, I still feel that way. And the second thing is that I know that it will be hard for him to believe it right now because of what happened, but I will try to prove it to him for as long as it takes. For those interested, I've been going to a therapist with my biological father once every two weeks since he came back, but I think I need one for myself, so I will try to make it happen soon. I want to thank three particular commenters that helped me. The person who told me to take it slow with Rob and DM me to stop looking at the thread because I was spiraling. The one that said, people mess up, sometimes badly. But in a loving and caring family, it's never the end of things as long as you are willing to own your mistakes. And most importantly, the best comment that was fair and gave me the right advice, you are a spoiled, selfish, childish person. I don't know if Rob will forgive you, but you can't simply wait to see if he does. Write him a letter in which you fully own up to your awful behavior. Do not say I wish someone had stopped me, that isn't taking accountability for the way you treat people. With him and your mom paying for your wedding and your in-laws paying for your house, you need to grow up and reflect very seriously on how you interact with everyone around you. I guess the post served as the letter in the scenario. Thank you, that was the slap in the face I needed to realize that I need to do a lot of work to improve myself and that the wedding was not its own thing, it was a reflection of who I am right now, and I don't like what I see when I look in the mirror. Also, Rob more or less told me something similar, just not as aggressive, 
So this comment made me take his words as not him attacking me, but trying to help me understand my flaws. I'm not sure how I will make up for this. Rob is telling me that over time, just me being how I was before my biological father showed up will be enough for him. I don't doubt him, but it's not enough for me. I will live with what I did for the rest of my life. I will always remember. The way I am now, I actually need people to call me out for these kinds of things, and it's not fair to them. I will work on it, I have too. I will try my hardest to not ever hurt anyone I love this way again. Thankfully, now I have someone in my husband to help me do that and call me out if needed. Thank you everyone for all your input.